So this is the second video in my series about uh, why to use uh, Cold Turkey Blocker uh, as a great tool for managing your uh, your internet life as well as how to use it. And uh, in the first uh, episode, which I'll link in the description below, uh, I'll, uh, I'm essentially telling you why you should use this program. Um, and in the next few videos, I'm going to uh, well pretty much install and config configure this program. I think if you're quite a well on a basic level a tech savvy uh, user you don't need this video so you can just skip it and go ahead to the to the settings or the like the introduction in how how to use the program but uh, to make it more accessible to even people who um, might for example be a little bit, bit older or they might not be so good with computers I'll just uh, show you how to install this program and how to install the browser add-on that you need to download uh, for this to work. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on that. Um, so I'm going to uh, um, essentially do this with Google Chrome because I think it's uh, it's the most used uh, browser. I think even by far nowadays, I personally use Firefox normally, but um, I might make uh, separate videos for other browsers um, because it all looks slightly different, like in the sense of how you have to um, enable this add-on um, but yeah what you should do is you could, should go and search for a uh, cold turkey blocker now I would recommend you to install an add-on called uBlock origin so I'll just google that and show you uBlock origin so this is uh, the best um, in my opinion the best uh, ad blocker and uh, you should also always check for the right site so in this case it says chrome.google.com uh, you should get it from there. So you open it um, and you uh, install it here. In my case, it says remove from Chrome because I already have it. But if you don't have it, it's, it'd probably say add to Chrome or install or something. Uh, once you do that, when you go look for this program, like any other program, so it's just generic advice for all situations, you will get the right site immediately. You will not get any strange adverts uh, trying to get you to download... Um, malware pretty much so viruses um so you could have like a sponsored link uh that is so-called a so-called cold turkey uh blocker website or and it'll, it it just wants you to install crap so once you have this program installed or if you don't want the extension for app blocking but you just uh, want to go for the blocker you should go to this website getcoldturkey.com so i'm gonna go there and you're just going to press download here. So there's a lot of blah blah here. Let me see how I need this one. So you go here and you click download blocker. So this is the free version you're going to be installing. So you wait for um, uh, this to download. Um, and then you click on it. If you're in doubt, you could always use, like, whether you have the right website. Uh, you could use this website, and it will scan the file. So I'll just add this. I'm not sure if this works the same in Chrome as in Firefox. No, it doesn't. So I'll just ch uh, do choose file here. Downloads, cold turkey installer. And there it goes. Um... So, yes, that's nonsense. So these are like false uh, positives, um, which means like you can look at all the other things. But um, so it has been recently scanned. Um, but you can like uh, reanalyze it if you want. But I have installed this many times, so I just trust it. Yes. So now it's uh, it's asking you like you can even check uh, the publisher here. Um, and you run the program so you just follow the steps and now it finishes so you have the latest version of this program so now this is why i made the video mostly because most people know how to install uh, a program um even though i doubt that like i think a lot of people don't really understand how to securely do that so i gave some tips for that but that's not relevant uh what, what's more relevant is um once you open this program it's always going to 
install ask you to install extensions for all the browsers that you have and if you want to use this program you need to install the extension for these browsers so uh, i guess we also have to do that for edge now because uh, edge was automatically installed when i uh, uh, started this windows installation but i'll just go to chrome first so it says install and it asks for your permission And then you go to some kind of weird website that looks a bit sketchy. This is not the official store. This is just again the official website of Cold Turkey Blocker. And you get see this button here. Here's explanation. So it opens a web store. This is official site. It opens like a weird private version because if you normally if you look for this uh, in the web store, I don't think you can find it. But it, it, this is like a special page where it asks you. So you can actually read the reviews, I think, if you're in doubt, yes. Um, and then you just click Add to Chrome. You can, yeah, check this if you want. Add extension. So now it will open automatically because what it wants you to do is this. Enable incognito permissions. So you look for that here. I'm not sure why it... You um, go back here, allow incognito, and that's pretty much it. So now when you go back to the program and you close this, um, you're done for Chrome. However, it still says extensions need to be enabled. So uh, you go here and um, well, this is a bit confusing. Let me try that again. No, it seems to be uh, it seems to be all right. Um, so you do the same for uh, Edge. So you get the same page. You can check if you want. Double check. Now you get the Microsoft Store uh, add-on, and you do something similar here. Get that extension. So here again, like it wants you to do the same and it automatically opens. So you click here and you don't allow in private. And um, then normally you should be good to go. Let's check what it says here. It says, okay, that's weird. It says it's installed only for uh, Edge. So let's do this again. Yeah, I guess it just gives you a weird notification here. This item has been disabled in Chrome. Well, we're going to enable it. And then check again in the program. Yes, yeah, so it says install twice. So if you click close now, uh, it won't give you this annoying notification. And then you can start using the program uh, the way you want to. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Even I ran into a little issue here, so it goes to show that this is not necessarily uh, such a self-explanatory thing. Um, but these are the steps you need to follow to install the program, to make it work, like on the most basic level. So then you can start actually blocking things. Uh, but now it works in the browser. So let's say if I had uh, Amazon.com blocked, so I'll just go to Amazon probably got the Dutch version instead of the English version. Yes, Amazon.com. Um, you would get like, um, you would see a screen like this page has been blocked by Cold Turkey Blocker. So that's the magic we're going to see in the next few videos. Um, so for some people, it, it's not necessary at all to follow this tutorial and not even about the rest of the program. But I still recommend you to follow along with the next few videos because um, there's some interesting settings you need to know about um, and other things that you could find out by, for example, reading the frequently asked questions on the official website. But I can just, from my experience, I can just show you this easily in my videos. So, um, well, that's pretty much what, it, what I wanted to say uh, for today. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.